run. Just run. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a 10 sales in probably not 10 minutes sales update. So today I've got a bit of a different format. Well, it was actually a format that I did a few months ago, a year ago, um, and I did it for a while and then I stopped doing it. But it's basically going to be uh, doing the sales in ascending price order. So the first sale on screen now is the least valuable of the sales update. And the last one is the most valuable. Now, yes, okay, what you can do is click right to the end of the video to see the most valuable one. But don't do that because, look, I'm a struggling YouTube creator and I need the watch time. So just let's create a nice little vibe here with some of these low value sales going through them nicely. And then you can whack up the watch time for me. And then we can get onto the nice higher value items at the end. The lower value items complement the higher value ones. It all flows nicely, you know, in the update. So don't do that. Don't go to the end of it. You don't want to do that. Let's let's first just, you know, enjoy these lower value ones and work our way up slowly to those more beautiful and popping sales. So, with that being said, let's get on with this sales update with this first sale, which is this Doctor Who, 10th Doctor Era, Voyage of the Damned, I believe it was a 2008 Christmas special. Uh, this is the figure of Astrid Peff, which was played by Kylie Minogue, of course. I think a few people wanted her to be a, um, a mainstream or full-time companion. I don't know what I felt at the time on it because I was 12 or so. I didn't really think about the show that much. I just enjoyed it for what it is, really. But, um, yeah, I think looking back, she would. I think she would have made quite a good full-time companion with David Tennant. I think chemist chemistry was quite good. Um, but, yeah, so she was in that Christmas special. £10, I would have said, is pushing it a little bit on this figure. It did take a few months to go, so that's why I say it might be pushing it a bit. Maybe if you're selling this figure individually, possibly lower it by a few quid. But I wanted to, um, you know, see if I can push it a bit, see if I can get a solid £10 for this figure. This came in a job lot that I'm now in profit on, so no harm there. All sorted, all done and dusted, so it means that after postage and fees, uh, that's pure profit. What would also be a good idea is maybe getting a, a figure of one of the other characters from The Voyage of the Damned, maybe Banner Cathalata, or maybe one of the hosts, or something like that, or maybe even David Tennant in Bowtie or something. I don't know if he did. Did we do a figure of David Tennant in Bowtie? I think maybe they did in his like little tuxedo thing. Um, but, you know, if you didn't do a figure on that, then Banner Cafalata or the host or something like that um, would be a good little way to bundle this and get a little bit more for it as well, get a little bit more for uh, for the little bundle there. So, yeah, £9.95 on that one, and that is the lowest value item of the sales update. Now, something I've had for ages, and I looked at the postage on me, so I want to direct your attention to the postage. You can see I've put one ninety nine. Now, I don't know why I've put one ninety nine because that's a really stupid price to put on the postage. Now, these did come under 2 kilograms, so it was just a, what, 290 job with raw mail or something. But why I put 199 why I didn't put my normal 299 or 349 or whatever, um, obviously, with this being an older listing, I would have thought I would be at sort of 299 rather than the 349 but um yeah it's just really odd that I put 199 I don't even get what that's all about but I obviously made a mistake there on the postage um but yeah these are chips I mean it's 50 of them is or 50 plus blue chips 11.5 grams each and when I get well what I used to do I did it a few times I got about three poker sets and they all had chips in them right and I found that if you sell the poker set as it is, I think I was maybe getting 15 quid or 20 quid or something. Obviously, just this is just a standard kind of unbranded poker set. I'm not talking about the really, you know, higher value ones or anything or really high quality ones, but just the standard ones. I think I'd get maybe 15, 20 quid, maybe a little bit more. But what I realised is if I separate all the chips by colour and then I separate the card packs and stuff, I can actually do... Uh, I can actually get more out of the set, basically. You can see here, just for these blue chips, I've got a tenner. So but I think there's blue chips, red chips, green chips, and white chips, or something like that. So you've got four different things there. That's like 40 quid as it is. Okay, yes, you're paying 
post multiple postage but as long as you kind of charge them back to the buyer it's not so bad anyway um so i was doing that and then obviously there was other little things in the set as well that i would then sell off because i think this was before i was doing the 10 pound items like the 10 pound minimum so I would do that and it was brilliant and they sold quite quickly for a while but then they just kind of dropped off and just didn't really do anything. I think I've still got a couple of these sets left actually. But yeah, so this one took forever to sell. Uh, $9.95 there plus my postage. Most probably it doesn't owe me anything out of the set. It's probably in a set that I'm already in profit on. So yeah, £9.95 plus randomly $1.99 postage there. Uh, next we've got this vintage blue bluebird ship nautical themed confectionery sweet tin collectible. I don't know whether I got this from a job lot that I paid my granddad for or whether I got it in an auction job lot. But either way, I think it, I think actually it might have been an auction job lot now. Either way, it's probably only going to have cost me a pound or two, no more than two quid really. So yeah, two pound into, hopefully, well, around uh, ten pound plus my postage there. Pretty happy with that one. It's a nice little tin, this, actually. Uh, you can see... I don't know what you can see on here. On here, it's got these, like, little stands on and everything. It's just a, it's just a nice little tin. And it's actually got some sort of felt on. This is felt here uh, around the tin. So it is quite nice. But unfortunately, it just wasn't very valuable. It was just going for around 10 quid. So... Yeah, I was kind of a little bit disappointed on that because I did think that that would be a 15 to 20 quid tin um, because it's a little bit more unusual, you know, but yeah, it turned out that it wasn't. took quite a while to go as well, not forever and ever, but it took, you know, probably took a few months to go. So yeah, 9.95 plus my posting on that one, but it is a really nice tin for what it is. Um, next, we've got these vintage Cappy, Captain Bucky O'Hare and Dead Eye Duck collectible figures. I think I got these in a job lot that I sniped off eBay. I don't know whether I'm in profit on this job lot yet, but I believe every figure was costing me around a pound, something like that. So a couple of quid cost into this, into 18 quid. Uh, and yeah, these were interesting because I'd never seen Bucky O'Hare figures. I didn't even know it was a thing. I didn't know it was a TV show or whatever it was. Um, I actually thought first off, because I, I had some Biker Mice of Mars figures in the job lot as well. And I first off thought that these were Biker Mice of Mars, or by, is it Biker Mice of Mars, is that right? Or is it something else? Yeah, by, I think it's Biker Mice of Mars or something. But, um, yeah, um, or is it Martian Biker Mice? I don't know. It's someone who knows the TV show will know. But, um, yeah, because I had never seen the Biker Mice of Mars, so I thought that these were that. But then I did a bit of research and realised that these were something completely separate. But these Bucky O'Hare figures seem to do quite well. And certain ones do okay. So yeah, these were 18 quid there. So I was pretty happy with that one. So we're moving on up in value now uh, with these vintage... Well, actually, we're kind of not because these are going down to 14 99 But I've done it based on uh, total price. So with the postage, these actually come in at more than the Bucky O'Hare figures. I've just decided to do it that way. So 14 99 plus my postage on these vintage way binoculars. These came in a camera job lot in which now I'm in profit on. I've also got another camera that I did on, well actually these are binoculars but I've got a camera from the camera job lot which these came in. Um, later on in the sales update that I put on auction that basically pays for the entire job lot as well. So between these two items I paid for the job lot and I'm in profit, and with a full box of loads of different camera stuff, so yeah, pretty happy with that. So $14.99 plus postage, these weren't really, really desirable ones, so hence why I went with that price. They did go a little bit quick though, they did go I think in maybe two days or something, possibly I could have got a little bit more, but again, you don't know, because I might have been waiting, at, let's say I went for $19.99, I might have been waiting a few weeks or possibly a month or two to get that, rather than just getting the $14.99 in a couple of days, so yeah, swings and roundabouts, it's kind of like that, you're not, you know, you're not sure, but uh, they did go within a couple of days anyway, so it did get me like that, I was thinking maybe I could have got a bit more, but I was still happy with a $14.99 there, plus my postage, and we came in this little case, I think it's leather, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, nice little case there anyway. So that is that one there. Next, baby sham glasses. I know people will want to know about these. So was it four quid? Yeah, it was four quid I paid for these six glasses, wasn't it? And they went pretty quick. They went within a few days, possibly a week, something like that. And I got my 1999 plus postage. So I was actually pretty happy. I picked them up. I said in the in the video, mm, I'm not sure whether four quid is a little bit much, but obviously I wanted to pick them up because there was something on my bucket list. Uh, I've never had baby sham glasses before. But yeah, I'm glad I picked them up because I got 1999 plus my postage really quickly. 
from the four quid. So there's a nice bit of profit in there. And because it was a fast turnover, I've got my investment out of them anyway, and I can invest in other things. So yeah, really, really happy with those. And um, definitely, if you if you see them, pick them up. At the moment, they seem to be doing quite well. Um, so yeah, then I've seen a car boot for a quid or two for a nice little set, maybe a set of four or six then go for it because you will get some good money and as long as you do a fairly decent title and everything and some nice photos you will get it fairly quickly so next we've got this vintage heart shetfield silver plate epns teapot sugar pot and milk jug 29.99 on this now i didn't realize that this make was anything really really special you can see their hearts sheffield um but yeah it's a nice it's kind of like a smaller set this it's like a more miniature set but it's really nice. It's a lovely little set and you can tell that it's a little bit of quality. I got this in a silver plate job lot that most probably with this one sale will have paid for all of it. Because normally I get job lots of silver plate from, well, from the auction house that I no longer go to actually because it's closed down unfortunately. But I used to get um, silver plate job lots from that auction house for around the 20 £25, pounds, something like that. So most probably this will have paid for all of it or very, very nearly paid for all of one of those job lots. So yeah, really, really happy with that one. Nice little set. Um, and I can see that it's just, it, yeah, it's nice, well-made little set. And uh, I was glad that it was worth a little bit of money. So yeah, 30 quid plus my postage on that one. So again, moving up in value a little bit more now. So 29.99 on this one plus a little bit more for my postage, hence where I put it. Um, further on in the sales update, Silk Master Classic Tripod with ITV Tilting Screw Mount. Um, yeah, nice little item this. Again, this came from a camera job lot, so this is something else from a camera job. I'm, I can't remember how much I paid for that camera job lot because it was so long ago and I've just had it sat in my lockup. But I know it wasn't more than twenty twenty five pound plus commission. I know it wasn't because I remember I remember getting it and thinking, "Wow, that, that, I got that cheap." You know, I really because normally for some camera job lots, you're paying fifty sixty quid plus commission if there's good cameras in there. But this lot just went really cheap, and I don't even know why it did. But yeah, I think I got it for around twenty twenty five pound plus commission. So yeah, I had the binoculars out of it. I had this thing out of it, which basically puts me in profit. And then I've got another camera to show you in a minute. I've got other cameras that have sold. I've got other cameras uh, to list. I've got loads of different camera bags to list as well. So yeah, going to get a good bit of money out of that job lot. So I was really, really happy with that. And I'm glad that I started to pick that out of my lockup and actually deal with it. Because, you know, what happens is you put these things in your lockup or you put these things in your storage area. And you think, oh, well, I'll deal with them at a later time and stuff. But you don't realise the money in them. You know, and you, you're going out getting new things, you're going out getting new stock, and you've got all this money laying around, you're like, why didn't I, why didn't I go in there and just check it, you know, so, 29.99 on this one, again, something that went fairly quickly, probably within a week or so, possibly a week and a half, but no more than that, so again, really nice little quick flip, I was bang on the money with this one, because someone else had sold, I think they'd either, either sold one, or... They had got one listed for the same price, so I was pretty much bang on the money. And I was glad it went so quickly. So yeah, 29 plus my postage on that one. Fortunately, it was quite big. I didn't actually extend it out on the photo, because obviously my photo area just wouldn't have taken it. But just even with, with it not extended out, you can see the top of my photo area getting cut off there. And I never like it when that happens, because it looks a little bit unprofessional, but needs mush, you know. In this case, I had to just take the photo. So yeah, that's that one. Next, another camera from a camera job line. I put this on auction now with cameras. I don't generally test them also with lenses I don't test them just because if I'm being very honest I don't really know what I'm doing with cameras if I knew what I was doing I would test them I would get it done all above board all properly kind of thing um, with video games with video games consoles and other electr Electrical items. That I know what I'm doing with more I will test them and I'll put them on as tested or at least I'll power test them and put them on as power tested but with cameras i'm not especially vintage cameras i don't really know what i'm doing so i'll put them on as untested sometimes i do them on auction if i feel like they're going to take off other times i'll do them on buy it now but i'll maybe just lower my price slightly in line with the fact that i've sold them as untested it is always better though in the grand scheme of things if you can test the majority of items that you sell because you will get more money for them but in certain circumstances, maybe you just don't know what you're doing with them. Maybe it's beyond your kind of wheelhouse or whatever. So then, you know, 
put them on as untested but make sure you're specifying that make sure the customer is knowing what they are getting and obviously do some good photos and stuff as well so this polaroid came it was a polaroid three six uh, 636 uh, it's like a close-up camera or something you can see it came with two lots of film there and then a little sort of instruction manual or something and i put this on at 9.95 plus my postage um and it went all the way up to 34 pound now if i had tested this maybe i could have got more for it but to be honest i really wasn't expecting 34 quid for this camera anyway so yeah i'm i'm pretty happy with that I'm, i can't complain really um but yeah as i say if i tested maybe i could have got more P possibly i will have got more but um yeah still very very happy with the 34 quid and again that's pretty much just pure profit now from that job lot so i can't complain um so yeah 34 quid plus my postage so again get uh going up in value now and we're gonna get we're gonna go up in a huge jump to the last item here by about 30 quid or something um yeah about 30 quid jump or maybe a little bit more this royal Don dalton brambley hedge uh, high hills lily weaver spinning figure uh, lovely little figure this boxed figure ceramic obviously uh, you can see here i've done plenty of photos sort of captured it in all the different angles i wanted to uh, obviously i've done a photo of the certificate it has its certificate with it it has a little tag on it as well uh, it has this thing on the back here just sort of elaborating on what it is and when it was made and all the rest of it and yeah it's just genuinely a lovely figure you can see the box there as well so yeah really nice looking little figure this one really really glad i got a good price for it i actually went about 10 pound higher than the previous sold price so i got 10 pound extra on top really um and i paid 15 quid for this at the charity shop i did show it on i think it was maybe on thursday talks on one of the episodes of thursday talks uh, on the live show and yeah, I mentioned that I got that for 15 quid from the charity shop in the live show. And yeah, we're really, really happy. Sold within a month. So something ceramic like this, it's always nice when you can get, you know, a turnaround of that sort of time scale. Um, and yeah, 70 quid plus postage from 15 quid. Can't complain with that one. Lovely little sale. And it's nice to have a sale over 50 quid because, to be honest, a lot throughout this summer, there's been so many sales of you know 10 to 20 quid which is fine because it's for bread and butter and it's what keeps things going and stuff but you know because it's been sort of slow in that regard on the higher value item front it's nice to at least get a sale that's a little bit better and even that polaroid's a little bit better at 34 quid um but yeah so pretty happy with that nice little sale so that is the sales update thank you very much for joining me as usual if you did like it then please do drop a like down below if you have any comments questions or queries about anything i've talked about here today on today's video drop them down below in the comments if you haven't already then please do consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this and a whole plethora of other content relating to reselling possibly a few vlogs in there as well possibly um you know haul videos uh oh loads of stuff hunting videos loads and loads of stuff um so yeah Definitely a lot of stuff to see, uh, sink your teeth into if you'd like to subscribe. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. So I will see you very soon, guys. I'll give you what I got. The alcohol of that is flowing wild. So grab yourself a can of mine.